ringtone, it's a ringtone song, ringtone song, it don't last too long. Hi. That was the shortest song you know. <laughs> That's only the beginning. I was expecting it to go longer. <laughs> <laughs> it does go longer. Would you like to hear the rest? Yes, please. Okay. Ringtone, it's a ringtone song, ringtone song, it don't last too long. Ringtone, it's a ringtone song, ringtone song, it don't last too long. Well, I know you're busy, you got a lot to do. So if you don't answer, I'll leave a message for you. Cause it's a ringtone, ringtone song, ringtone song, it don't last too long. Two, three. Ringtone, it's a ringtone song, ringtone song, it don't last too long. Well, I've called this number for an hour or two So if your telephone is on You're annoying the people next to you Cause it's a ringtone, a ringtone song Ringtone song, it don't last too long Two, three, four. Ringtone, it's a ringtone song Ringtone song, it don't last too long You can buy this ringtone for less than a buck I wish you would and thank you please I need new tires on the truck Cause it's a ringtone, ringtone song Ringtone song, it don't last too long Two, three, four Ringtone, it's a ringtone song Ringtone song, it don't last too long Thank you, Doug. You're welcome. This is a special <laughs> edition of Coffee with Stripes. We're here with Doug Barnett. Just flew in from Arizona. How are your arms? Oh, they're great. Yeah. My wife warned me not to use that joke. And <laughs> you went ahead and did it. I knew you weren't going to, so I made you. Oh, good. Yeah, we set I it up that. like that. <laughs> so Doug is originally from the area. Well, that's not true. Where are you originally from? I'm originally from where I came from. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I got to know Doug from this area. This is filmed in Seattle, by the way. Everyone knows that. All, all our thousand listeners. Yeah. You have a thousand already? Cool. Yeah. Well, everyone's got two ears, so we got 500. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, sometimes I don't speak in stereo, so. So we got to know Doug up at Katie, Katie J's bar in Renton Highlands, where he'll be tomorrow night. And he'll be tomorrow And night. I'll be tomorrow night. It'll be a birthday party, but everyone should come on down and have a great time. It always is at Katie J's. That's true. So you've been playing much music down there in Arizona? Yeah. Yeah, we play uh, all sorts of places. Uh, Latest, we played at a place called uh, the Desert Rose Steakhouse. It's a really Ooh. nice place. Did you get a, some steak? Uh, not that night, but we've, I've been there before, and the food is great. A guy named Glenn Tarico, uh, had a has a thing that goes on every Tuesday night, which is seven different acts or five different acts, depending on what he puts together, and we were part of We've been there twice, actually, with him. So he gets a bunch of different acts together, and you go on one after another. Now, who's we? My wife and I, okay. Barbara. Yeah, we are a duo. And she plays guitar. She plays the guitar. She plays the flute. She sings. Uh, she, can she sing and play the flute at the same time? Uh, no. I saw a video on YouTube once, but I think it was <laughs> faked. I think it was faked. You can always fake the flute player. Could be, yeah. You want to do another song for us? Sure. She actually requested that I record this song, so this is a perfect place for it. Great. This is a, I wrote that, this is called a four color, 10 inch tattoo. Can't really tell. Is it a fish or a bell? On the left side, I think there's a beak. And I have this fear as I look in the mirror. Something's beginning to leak. The drinking was on and last night is gone. Blurred images start to come through. There's a pain in my gut and there on my butt is a four color, 10 inch tattoo. Four color, 10 inch tattoo. My God, what did I do? Drunk on a whim with my friend Jim. 
I wonder if he got one too. There on the right, it looks like a kite. It could be a shield and a sword. Flying above, pterodactyl and dove, is a green leprechaun who's been gored. It's really a shame that they misspelled your name, and the face there don't quite look like you. Still you look kinda cute, with that bowl full of fruit, in the four-color ten-inch tattoo. Four-color ten-inch tattoo. My God, what did I do? Drunk on a whim with my friend Jim. I wonder if he got one too. When I laugh, it all moves from tower to who's. Better pull up the trousers, I think. Kneel in a pew, yeah, that's what I'll do. Pray that it's henna, not ink. I'll cover the cheeks, and in a few weeks, I'll see what the doctors can do. Now I feel like a boob. Facebook and YouTube have my four color 10 inch tattoo. Four color 10 inch tattoo. My God. What did I do? Drunk on a whim with my friend Jim. <laughs> yeah, he got one too. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. Is that off uh, the new album? Yes. That's the brand new, uh, brand, brand new album it's called "Upfront and Honest." Upfront and Honest by Doug Barnett. Or Douglas? No, it's Doug. 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 Keeping right. it rock. That's right. Mm. <laughs> And it's, as I say, you know, Doug is is uh, long for Douglas and short for D. <laughs> oh no, it's the other way around. It's short for Douglas and long for D. It was one of those. It, it all works. Somehow, sitting here, I, I feel I should be saying. Well, we we. Can put, I didn't hear anybody <laughs> coming back with that. No, we can put a jungle scene in the background. Maybe oh, okay. they'll think that was a bird. Oh no no! That's, uh, haven't you ever seen? Uh, Bob and Doug McKenzie? Oh, of course not. Okay. Otherwise, this would be copyright infringement. <laughs> oh, no. Okay. It's, it's the great you, green. Norm. You hoser. That's right. Take off, eh? So that's Upfront and Honest by Doug Barnett on Amazon. On Amazon, iTunes. iTunes. CD Baby. CD Baby. And how, I, how I have many, some in the car, too. How many albums is that? Um, I think I've released... Ten. Ten. You can see why it takes a minute to try and count them all up. Well, there's four that I never released. <laughs> oh. <laughs> are they coming? Or are, they, are they in the vault? No, no. The Barnett vault. Well, I have a whole bunch of instrumentals that I never released, so that's, that's what they are. Oh. I just use them for different things. Would you want to play one of those now? Mm, I can try. <laughs> Thank you. 
Sorry to put you on the spot, but I think that was worth it. Oh, yeah. I can remember some of them, but not all of them. That's why I recorded them. Well, that's a good reason to record. <laughs> it's kind of what we're doing here. It's, <laughs> we keep I talking about stuff and forgetting to do it because we I forgot we said it. That's so right. I won't remember it tomorrow. So. Oh, that's the, right. We have video. Watch the video. Yeah. That's right. <laughs> So I guess to remind everybody, we're playing at Katie J's in the Renton Highlands tomorrow night. That's yeah. Saturday, January 7th. 2017. 2017. Yeah. Come up and watch the Seahawks win, and then we'll play right after that. Yeah. First gig of the year, I guess, when you put it that way. That's true. There you go. Wait a minute. So, no, I've had two already. So oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, at least someone around here is working. Yeah, well, so to speak. <laughs> One of them was paid, which is always <laughs> I work a lot, but get paid occasionally. Well, if you count good. unpaid gigs, this is one. Oh, well, that's true. Yeah, all right. I'm working too, then. <laughs> <laughs> so, Katie J's, tomorrow night, 2017, January 7th. Do you have anything else you'd like to add? No, that sounds good to me. That's what I plan to be doing tomorrow. So, well, are, are you bringing anybody else with you, or is it just you and me? We, well, we, we could bring. Stripes. We could bring stripes. He's been a good capo holder. <laughs> stay, stay. Manages to hold the beer pretty well too. <laughs> oh, I haven't tried that. So he's, he's got the coffee with extra sugar too. Yeah, it's a little late, but he likes getting wound up. Yes. All right. Well, I think that should be uh, about it for the show. Do you want to just take us out on one more kind of? What's that? Take us out on another tune? Sure. Let's see. What do I have that's good, though? That's the problem. I can do somebody else's song. How's that? Uh, maybe not. It's maybe copyright. Not. It's copyright How infringement. No, you can do that. <laughs> How about your public service announcement? Oh, that's right. That's one of mine. All right. Once again, Doug Barnett here for one weekend from Arizona. That's right. And this is dedicated to all the hardworking people in the service industry that uh, I depend upon quite a bit always tip your bartender well yes always tip your bartender well because they can make this heaven or hell yes always tip your bartender well remember they control all the booze remember they control all the booze you can argue all you like, but you'll lose. Remember, they control the booze. <laughs> the musician works for tips and beer. The musician works for tips and beer. He doesn't know every song, but he learned a few this year. The musician works for tips and beer. Everybody sing. Always tip your bartender well. Yes, always tip your bartender well. Cause they can make this heaven or hell. Always tip your bartender 